Hi, I'm Erica, AccuQuilt's Corporate Marketing Specialist, and I'm here to show you how quick and easy it is to make projects with our limited edition Go Coffee and Tea Medley die, along with our free downloadable embroidery. Now to download this free embroidery, you need to visit AccuQuilt.com and log into your account. You're going to have the option of three different stitches. We've got a satin stitch, a blanket stitch, and a great motif stitch to choose from. I've already got my embroidery downloaded in the format that I need and have it on the flash drive in my machine ready to go. Look at your machine's manual to find out what format you need if you don't already know or call your machine dealer. Now I've got my background and stabilizer in the hoop and all I need to do is cut out some shapes. So remember that your fusible is going to count as half a layer. So you can always cut up to four layers of fused fabric at one time. Now this die is our limited edition Go Coffee and Tea Medley die, and it will fit in all of our cutters, including the Go Me. So here's a little tip for you. You don't actually have to cut every shape on a die every time you cut. Today, I'm going to embroider our coffee cup design. I've already cut out a saucer, so all I need to do is cut out my cup. So that's all I'm gonna cover with the mat and fabric when I cut. Now, here's my second tip. This teacup is actually a directional shape because it has a handle on one side. That means if you cut your fabric right side up, you're gonna have your handle on the right side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and embroider it for this project with my handle on the left side. So I'm going to take my fabric and instead of right side up, I'm going to place it right side down. I'm just going to use my 6x6 six six mat because I only need to cover what I'm cutting and I can get my cut shape cut and be ready to go to my embroidery machine. So we're going to go ahead and get that cut really quickly. Give it a little love. Pull that off. And I love how easy it is. Look at that. It even cuts out the handle for you. So we're ready to go to our embroidery machine. So with your hoop in the machine, the first thing that will stitch out is the placement stitch for your first piece, which is going to be the saucer. Once that's down, you can fuse down the shape carefully on your machine or take the hoop off and use a mini iron. So let's get started. Okay, perfect. Now we've got the saucer stitched out. I'm gonna bring my saucer piece over. This is showing me exactly where it needs to go and I can put this right down. Now, for this shape, I use some fusible that's already a little sticky so I can just go straight on to my next step. Okay, now the next step is going to give me the placement stitch for my teacup. Now, you might want to notice right here that we don't have any stitching. The blanket stitching skipped this big section. That's because our teacup is going to overlap that. So we don't have extra stitches underneath. You're gonna have a flatter, better finished project this way. So now we're gonna do the placement stitch for the teacup on top of the saucer. Okay, so now you can see our placement stitch for the teacup is done, including the handle. So now all I have to do is go ahead 
peel the backing off and I can get my cup placed. Now, if you don't have this piece of fusible I used, is not as sticky as the first one that I used. So for this one, I can pull this out of the machine and go ahead and just give it a quick little press to make sure that we're not gonna have any slippage issues and make sure that my placement is perfect. Perfect. Now you could go ahead and do this while you have your hoop on the machine if you want to, if you're able to get your placement there. Sometimes they think it's a little easier. You do wanna be really careful though, if you leave your hoop on to do that ironing, you don't wanna melt your machine. Okay, so let's get our hoop back on. And we're gonna be ready to go ahead and do our blanket stitch on the teacup. Great, so now we're done. So here is our finished cup, just like that. It's so cute. Now you can find the pattern for our Go Brew Crew table topper, you see right over here, along with a video that shows Pam and I and how we put it together. I know you're going to enjoy working with this limited edition die and the embroidery and come up with a lot of creative uses for it. Remember, at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time so you can quilt and embroider more.